Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video I will be showing you how to test and view emails in your local development. So I am currently in this dashboard page so you can see here the dashboard controller and it is just returning the dashboard view and just it is being shown. Now let us create a mail and let's see how we can view that mail in our test or development environment. So to create a mail we have an artisan command. So let us create this PSB artisan make mail order status mail and dash dash markdown emails dot order status. So when we give this markdown, then it will create a view file as well for our email. Now when I hit enter, it will generate two files. So if I show you here, so it is not showing here. So let me show you from the sidebar. So it, it has created this order status blade and this order status mail. So this file is inside this resources views emails and order status because we have when creating the markdown we have written here emails dot order dash status so it has created inside the views folder uh, where all the views are located inside the views folder it, it is emails and order status and this order status mail this file is under app mail and order status mail so if we look inside this app mail here it is just returning this view so it will automatically generate this code yeah and it will automatically link this view with this mail class now in order to send the mail what we can do here is we can simply go to the dashboard controller suppose uh, let's say you have a form in your website and somebody is trying to register then whenever they have registered you would like to send a welcome email then when you are developing that you want to see how does it look like then let's see how to do that okay so currently i'll just do it here so in order to send a mail you can do mail and it is imported here as you can see here mail to and you can provide here the email and we can do here send and we can just give the class name new or a status mail like this so when we do this a mail will be sent but in order to see how does the mail look like we can simply return this object from here so if we do it like this then it will display the email so currently if you look here in the order status so it is just introduction the body and some buttons and thank you okay so now let's see in the browser here now if i refresh here now you can see here i can exactly see how does that email will look like when it is sent to a person so it will look like this so if you want to change something then let's say lorem if some some text over here now if i refresh here so you can see here all those text appear here and same will be appear on the user's end whenever you send an email so this is how you see in your local environment so when you do this you can only see the mail but everything that you want to see let's say we were in the dashboard yeah so currently we are in the dashboard and we cannot see whatever thing that is inside the dashboard so the our app flow is blocked so for that we can use some services like mail wrap so i have currently opened you can register this i'll provide the link in the description you can just register and after the registration it will show you this page this inboxes yeah and here it will just create one demo inbox so suppose it is not there then you can simply create by clicking on here add inbox and you can just type in a name and it will create this row and when you click on this demo inbox then it will show us this detail page and from inside here you will see this smtp credentials so we can use this and whenever we send an email from our application it will be visible in this so for that you need to have an internet connection so these are the details now we have to add these details in our .env file so if we go here in the .env file so here we can see lots of things that we can add here inside this the mail configuration file okay so here instead of mail hog write mail trap and the port would be you can give any port from here so let's give this one and the username will be this and the password will be this and the encryption will be tls and it is optional so we don't need to write here okay so this from address is where let's say you want to send an email to a user from orders at your domain name.com so you can write it here so you can say here like so I have written here orders at laratips.com. So in the from section of that email, it will this email will appear. Okay, we have done this. Now in our dashboard controller, let's remove this code and we are simply just mailing 
to email at email.com so you can write any email in this test environment because it is just for the development and it will work perfectly fine so we have just sent an email to this email at email.com from this orders at laratives.com and we have just returned a dashboard view now let me refresh the page here okay we are seeing this error connection could not be established so this is because we have written this in the mail host mail trap so if we look here in our this mail trap configuration file we have to add this okay in the host so this one and now if i again refresh the page here so you can see here the page has been loaded which means that email is sent now if you open the mail trap and just click on this refresh icon sometimes it will appear automatically but sometimes you need to click on this refresh icon okay so now if i click here so you can see here that email is here yeah so if you see here from orders at laratips.com and to email at email.com so this is how you test emails and how you see how the email will look like when you send it to the customers so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video so if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye